Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Today we're going to be listening through all of the character conversations on Revelations, and between each conversation I'm going to just interject real briefly and talk a little bit about what I think of the conversation and add any interesting facts or ideas that I might have floating around in my head that I think might be relevant. So without further ado, here's the first convo. You still seem real mad at Richthofen. You having second thoughts, Nikolai? Second thoughts? My opinion of the German has barely wavered, but I believe we are serving a higher purpose. So do you think this Dr. Monty is the real deal? I see no other explanation, MC. But as for how closely his goals are aligned to Richthofen's is something that remains to be seen. Each of us have made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of Richthofen's plan. We have hunted down and extinguished our other selves. I know. And you put up a bigger fight than the rest of us. You think your gut feeling about Richthofen was right all along? I know not where this battle will end, MC. But I will fight it with the same fervor as I always have. We'll fight side by side, back to back. Even if it's for the last time, Nikolai. Though I fear the end approaches, I believe Richthofen holds cards he has yet to play. If that's true, then I hope it's a winning hand for all of us. Otherwise, he hasn't changed as much as we thought. So that conversation contains the already classic quote, We'll fight side by side, back to back, even if it's for the last time. Except this time, it's got the word Nikolai tagged on the end there. I love that quote to pieces, it's so good. And this conversation doesn't really tell us anything new per se, but it just re-establishes the mutual respect that Dempsey and Nikolai hold for one another. They are both pretty much in the same sort of place with regards to their thinking as to what Richtofen is up to, and it's quite nice as well because Nikolai ends it off with, I believe Richtofen holds cards he is yet to play, and Dempsey finishes by saying, if that's true, then I hope it's a winning hand for all of us. So, Tack, you notice anything off when we bagged Nikolai's soul in Stalingrad? Many things were off on our last mission, Dempsey. But I believe I know what perplexes you. The big beam of light that came out of the summoning fucker. It shot right up into the sky, and I saw figures in it. You, me, Nikolai. But no Richthofen. An intriguing realization. An unlikely revelation. If our memory of Stalingrad is correct, why do you think we saw only three figures? I'll tell you what I think. I think our pal Richthofen ain't got a soul. Not sure if he ever did. Hmm. If our souls are truly within the children, then what is left of us? Exactly. I'm starting to see a flaw in this plan. Specifically, that we don't seem to feature. Perhaps when the battle is over, our spirits will join in unity, ascending to another plane of existence. I ain't sure I like the sound of that. What if I don't want to be a fucking kid? What if I just want to be me? This one is really interesting because, thank goodness, we get some conversation about the fact that Richtofen's soul doesn't fly into the sky as we expected it to at the end of the Revelations Easter egg when we get the cutscene, the other three souls fly up, and there's a missing fourth soul. Because Richtofen's doesn't ascend into the sky, it's nowhere to be seen. He's already got his soul in the house somehow, and that is a big burning hole in our continuity of the zombie storyline right now. It is a really perplexing little event, and that's exactly what they're talking about here. Takio says, I believe I know what perplexes you. Dempsey says, the big beam of light that shot out of the summoning key, it went right into the sky, I saw figures in it, but I didn't see Rectophon. And Takio says, an intriguing realization, an unlikely revelation. Whew, epic quote. So, Richthofen, with all this mayhem unfolding around us, have you formulated a new plan? Yes, Dempsey. My plan is to live through this day. If we can do that, then we still have a chance. Those kids in the house, they're actually us? Created from our souls in the summoning key. Yeah, Dempsey, the children are us. But they are free of the confusion and delusion that has shaped our existence. 
So this Dr. Monty, what do you actually know about him? Was he another Group 935 scientist or something? <laughs> oh, no. He may call himself a doctor, but Monty is so much more than that. How do I know this isn't what you wanted all along, Richtofen? I mean, throwing the whole universe into perpetual chaos seems like exactly the kind of thing you'd do. You are wrong, Dempsey. Just as Dr. Monty explains, this is not the future we had sought to secure. Something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. So, answer me honestly. Just how much of this chaos is your fault? Did our little trip to Alcatraz have anything to do with it? Be quiet, Dempsey. I told you, that's our little secret. This one is really interesting for two reasons. Firstly, we get Dempsey questioning, just as the community has questioned, Richtofen's integrity, saying, what if this is just what you wanted all along? Throwing the whole universe into perpetual chaos. That's exactly what we've been saying this whole time. Richtofen can't be a good guy, surely. How could he be a good guy? He's never been a good guy before. What's going on? That's been the community's line on this for so long now, and Dempsey's basically echoing it here. But Richtofen says, no, you're wrong. Just as Monty explained, it's not the future we sought to secure. Something has gone terribly wrong. But then Dempsey says, did our little trip to Alcatraz have anything to do with it? And Richtofen says, be quiet. I told you, that's our little secret. And we've had multiple teases about that little trip multiple times over multiple maps now. But the, I guess, overarching idea is that between Zetsubo no Shima and Zetsubo no Shima, okay, I know that sounds weird, but that's the case, the characters zip out to Alcatraz, collect the blood of probably the transit characters, and then zip back to Zetsubo, and then go onwards to Gorod Krovi. We know this is the case because of various bits of evidence, but in short, that's what happened, and that's what Dempsey is referring to here. I know you're not particularly fond of me, Nikolai, but I promise you, I'm really trying hard. <sighs> you should try harder. The children in the house, they are us. Are we to believe that they are vessels for our eternal soul? Yeah, Nikolai, that is exactly what they are. Vessels for our eternal souls. What of these bodies that we currently inhabit? What becomes of us when the battle is over? You will see, Nikolai. And one day, you will thank me. Your plan forced me to relive painful memories I would rather were left in the past. I am not sure I should thank you for that. You misunderstand me, Nikolai. I'm referring to the future, not the past. I fear that our future will soon be upon us. Our journey's end is rapidly approaching. Let us just agree to disagree, Nikolai. I have every intention of living a long and eventful life. This conversation is, I guess, a little uneventful. You've got Richtofen essentially saying, I am trying really hard, and Nikolai's just like, try harder. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up, to be honest. We have traveled far, Richtofen. But what do you know of our true destination? We have to focus on restoring order to this universe, Takeo. Which means doing the kind of things we usually do. Questions remain unanswered, Richtofen. What of the children? The Monte Doctor seem to imply that they are us? They are what we could be, had we lived in a world unsullied by the evils that have punctuated each and every moment of our existence. If the children are us, then what of us? The bodies we now inhabit, what becomes of them when order is restored? That question has been on my mind for a long time, Takeo. I believe the answer is not one that would bring you any comfort. Are you returning to your old duplicitous ways, Richtofen? Do you have another agenda that we are unaware of? I promise you, Takeo, I will make this right. With or without the help of Dr. Monty. Have faith, Takeo. Other than all the times I betrayed, tortured, or tried to kill you, have I ever let you down? You have kept your word. As you had promised, I was shown the truth behind my own misguided path. 
Some of the questions that Tack asks Rectifen are really interesting, saying what do you know of our true destination, what of the children, what of us? He keeps going on this line, are you returning to your old duplicitous ways? Do you have another agenda that we are unaware of? All of these things, once again, just like Dempsey was saying earlier, are questions that the community has been asking of Rictophon as well, and it's good that Tack has asked them, especially as Tack does have this sort of special connection with Rictophon, and Rictophon, I guess, basically wraps it up by saying, other than all the times I've betrayed, tortured, or tried to kill you, have I ever really let you down? And Tack's like, well, you did kind of keep your word. I was shown the truth behind my own misguided path. You know that this journey has changed us all, Nikolai. I cannot dispute that. The fact that I allowed myself to do what I did proves that. Would you welcome a fresh start for your soul? The chance to live a new life, far from this realm of violence and fear? However much I would wish it to be otherwise, I know that my past is gone forever. I do not believe the survival of our eternal souls is the real driving force behind Richthofen's agenda. He is a selfish creature. I think you are mistaken. I believe this Richthofen has sacrificed more than we may ever know. What do you believe in, Nikolai? I believe in a higher power. I believe this Dr. Monty may well offer us our best hope for the future. Whatever it may be. Tell me, Takio, what do you believe in? My beliefs have changed greatly. But I will tell you one thing I know for sure, Nikolai. Even though we are bound by destiny, in our hearts, we are a team. When Tag talks to Nikolai, we get an interesting insight into their opinion of Rectifen and his plan. Nikolai saying, for example, that I do not believe the survival of our eternal souls is the real driving force behind Rectifen's agenda. He is a, a selfish creature. Like, oh, stick the knife in, Nikolai. God damn, son. And then Tack says, well, I think you're mistaken. I think this Rectifen has sacrificed more than we may ever know. And then, the thing that I really like about this little convo is that they ask each other what they believe in. And this is a throwback all the way to Der Eisendrache, where the characters are sitting down and they talk to each other and Richtofen says, what do you believe in? What are your goals? Why do you do the things you do? Oh, that isn't a Rectifen quote. <laughs> that gets asked on Der Eisendrache by Rectifen, and we see another version of it here, but this time it's without that Rectifen presence in there. It's just Tack talking to Nikolai and having a little private conversation, talking about what is in their hearts and minds as they go towards the great battle. Hmm. We appear to be standing upon a fractured rock, drifting through space beneath a cold blue sun. Nice plan, Richthofen. Really. Great job. I can see why you were so eager to get here. You promised us a better tomorrow, Richthofen. Instead, you may have doomed our eternal souls. Obviously, things haven't gone exactly to plan. I blame myself, really. But honestly, I had no idea about this shadow man. Look around you. See what your plan has wrought, Richthofen. I knew you were nothing but an agent of chaos. I do not understand this realm. Have we found ourselves at the edge of time itself? What about this Dr. Monty guy? Who the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? Dr. Monty is on our side. That I am sure of. He's got to be around here somewhere. Unimaginable evil manifests all around us. The forces of light are in retreat. So, that huge fucking monster that's flying about overhead? What the hell is it? We killed a dragon on our last journey. We can vanquish this hell beast just the same. I fear we may need Dr. Monty's assistance if we are to defeat such a nightmarish monstrosity. Finally, we get the round on round on round quotes. So, this is the start of round one, then the end of round one, and then the end of round two. That's when all of these play. And you essentially have Takio saying pretty much nothing at all. We're standing on a rock, drifting through space beneath a cold blue sun. Well, 
If it's blue, it's probably pretty hot, Takio, but we'll give you a pass on that one. Dempsey and Nikolai are absolutely savage here, saying, you promised us a better tomorrow. Instead, you may have doomed our eternal souls. And Dempsey's just like, nice plan, Rectifern. Really great job. I can see why you are so eager to get here. He's absolutely sticking that knife in, like I just said. And Rectifern's like, obviously things haven't gone to plan. I blame myself but I had no idea about the Shadow Man, which we know is probably a lie because the Shadow Man says all sorts of stuff about his history with Rictophon, so really interesting that he decides to hide that from us, or potentially that means that the Shadow Man is lying. Who knows? A big question mark there. But then Rictophon rounds it out by saying, I fear we may need Dr. Monty's assistance if we are to defeat such a nightmarish monstrosity, referring to the big Apothecon worm, the Apothec god, whatever you want to call it, floating around in the space around the map. And it's interesting because I don't feel like we ever really defeat it in the map. He says, if we're to defeat such a nightmarish monstrosity, we may need Dr. Monty's assistance. But not only do we not really defeat it, we just trap it, we also don't really need Dr. Monty for that, at all, either. So, a little weird there, just a little inconsistent with the actual turn of events that happened on the map, or certainly seemingly, but still pretty much just a good way to get you into the game and get you thinking about what needs to be done during the Easter Egg. Okay, I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. These have been the character quotes on Revelations. I'll be posting plenty more Revelations videos nice and soon, because despite the fact that the map's been out for a while now, there's still plenty to post. So, I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.